Hey, Dough Rollers, welcome back to the channel. So as you know by now, Mint.com is closing. That's big news in the budget app space. Uh, a few days ago, I published a video on Mint alternatives. You can check that out. Today, we're going to take a look at another issue, very, very important for, for you Mint.com users, and that is how do you, one, preserve your data that you have in Mint, and then if you want to continue to use that data in a different budgeting app, how do you actually migrate your data? So in this video, we're going to first talk about how you save the data in Mint.com, and then we're going to look at some very specific examples. I'm going to show you how to upload that data to other budgeting apps. So let's dive right in, and I'll start by showing you uh, my my Mint account. Now I haven't used Mint in goodness, it's been a while uh, uh, since about 2014, really. Although I do have some 2016 transactions in here, so these accounts don't even exist anymore. That's how old this is. So. There are two ways, uh, at least there maybe there are more, but there are two ways that I know of to export your data from Mint. And which method you're going to use will depend on which budgeting app you want to upload your data. Now, as I mentioned in the, the Alternatives to Mint video, I think probably the best alternative that's the closest to Mint.com is Empower. It used to be called Personal Capital. Like Mint, it's free, it's online, well, you know, it's got a great smartphone app and an iPad app. You can export all your data out of, out of Empower, but you can't upload data. So if you want to use your Mint data in your budget, you can't use Empower. Now you could use Empower for, uh, just for the investing, uh, connecting your investing accounts, because that's excellent for that. But you can't import your data. So in Mint, what are we going to do? Well, if we want to just import everything, we can go to Transactions up here, uh, come over here to this gear icon, and uh, you can see I've got about 3,800 transactions. Click Export, and I'm done. It's that simple. So at a minimum, let's say you wanted to use Empower for budgeting, and you said, Rob, I don't care about importing my Mint data. I, you still might want to at least export it like I just showed you. It literally takes seconds, and you just at least you have your data in case you ever need it. Now, um, that's the first way. The other way you can do it is, is uh, by account. So that imported all your transactions or exported all your transactions for all, all of your accounts. You could do it on an account by account basis. Why would you do that? Because you, as you'll see, some budgeting apps will allow you to import just all of your transactions and other apps say, no, 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 not so fast. You have to do it account by account. So, and we'll look at examples of both, but if we went down, I'll use my old Venture card, which I don't have anymore. How do I export these transactions? Well, you just go to the account like I've done here, scroll to the bottom, and there it is. I've got 23 transactions in here, uh, not very many. Uh, click Export, and now I've just exported uh, just my, uh, in this case, credit card transactions. I can show you what the export looks like. Uh, I'll just show you the, the credit card one. It's, they look the same, just one has more data. So I'm looking at this in Mac numbers, but you'll see there are nine columns, always nine, um, and it includes the account name here. Can you see it was venture and the category and whether it's a debit or credit, um, the description, the date and everything else. So that's what the CSV file looks like, fairly standard you know, spreadsheet. So now let's look, I'm gonna try to show you three uh, budgeting apps uh, where you can import your data. Some make it very easy. Some I've had problems with and can't import it. So we're going to talk about that. The first one I want to show you is actually the budgeting app I use today. So my setup is Empower to Manage Investments, 401k, IRA, taxable accounts, even HSAs. Um, and I used their budgeting app for a very long time. It's actually what I used after Mint.com. More recently though, in the last couple of years, I used Tiller. And uh, here I'll actually show you my um, Tiller budget spreadsheets. The way Tiller works is Tiller connect, you connect all your accounts uh, just like with Mint, but what it does is rather than downloading it into say a, a proprietary database like Mint.com had, you can download it either into Google Sheets, which is what you see here, or uh, Microsoft Excel. And so then now I have sort of control over all the data. So how do you actually then import uh, Mint data? Well, you would go to extensions, uh, Tiller Community Solutions. We're going to open up this sidebar. It takes just a second. So way, the way Tiller works is Tiller, the company, has built a lot of tools and templates to, to do a number of things from, you know, pulling in your data to creating a monthly budget, a yearly budget, you know, um, categorizing your, your transactions. But the community has built tools as well. And the one you want is CSV. If we search for that, 
This is it, import CSV line items. This tool is actually pretty neat. It does a couple of things. One of the things it does, by the way, if you can get a download of your Amazon orders from Amazon, which used to be easy, now it takes, you have to order it and it can take weeks to actually get the data. But you can use this import CSV line item tool and rather than say having a showing in your budget, you spent $120 at Amazon. Uh, if you bought like say five things, it'll actually break out those five things and you can categorize each of them separately. Pretty cool, but uh, anyway, that's not what we're here for. So we're gonna upload a CSV file. Uh, I'll pick this last one, that's just because it's smaller uh, file. Um, if you're importing 10,000 transactions, it'll take a while. And so here it is, you can see my, my 23 transactions, there's the amount, and you can filter this uh, by date. You can say, uh, I don't want to go back to 2015, I just want 2016 or, or whatever. And, and then you can import your transactions. They go right into a transaction sheet and tiller, and it's really that easy. Um, the one thing I will say that you've gotta be careful with with tiller is if you're starting from scratch, you have no transactions in tiller, you're bringing all of your mint data over, not a problem. But maybe you've started using tiller and you've been experimenting with it and you've got some transactions in there already. This import tool will not weed out the duplicates. So if you just willy-nilly import everything, you're gonna have duplicates that you're gonna to have to go in and weed out. Now, what you could do, maybe you've got three months of data, you could say, okay, I'm gonna use those sliders to limit, to filter the dates and not bring in any overlapping dates. So that's the thing, uh, one thing to keep in mind. I have found, it's that simple. I mean, I just walked you through it. It's very easy to do. I'm not importing that into my tiller spreadsheet because again, that mint data is old and I just don't need it, but um, very easy to do. Now. Let's go to the next one. This was actually a fail, a fail for me. I tried to import into Monarch Money, a tool that I really like. I've tested extensively. I like Monarch Money, but no luck. This is one of the tools where you have to upload the data on a, tra a transaction by tran or account by account. Uh, so that's what I did. I downloaded my Venture credit card as I showed you, tried to upload it. And in fact, you see it's spinning. It's been spinning for 30 minutes as I got ready to record this video. So I can't get Monarch Money to work. Hmm. I thought I'd, you know, I might as well show you my failures as well as the, 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 the wins, right? Next one, Countabout. Countabout turns out to be pretty, pretty easy. It's one of those, it's probably, maybe a budgeting app you've never heard of. It's one I've tested. Uh, and um, this allows you to import all of your transactions at once. You don't have to separate it out accounts. You simply go to settings and you scroll down here to where it says import mint data, you can see mine is grayed out because I already did it. But literally you click this button, you upload the file and you're done. And I can actually show you, here's my Visa, sign uh, well, that's not what I wanna show you, I wanna show you this venture card. There it is, These, this is my, my 23, is this 23 transactions? Yeah, oh this is Visa signature, hang on, let's go to venture. Here we go, yeah. Not very many, it's got 24 entries because it includes a balance entry from yesterday, which is, it, I, I, the card isn't even open, so it doesn't really have a balance. I just hadn't cleared it out, I guess, from mint.com. But there you go, it brings in the transactions, it seemed to work just fine. You know, you, you, you're gonna, you may have to, it, it brings in the, um, the categories, which you may have to adjust, depending on how you have them set up at mint.com, but Countabout was successful for me, all right? And so I wanted to show you that. Now the third one I wanna show you is, a, is an app I like a lot, it's called Simplify. Now, uh, this is by Quicken. Uh, it, it started out as a smartphone app and it, it didn't have an online version, but you're looking at the online version now. And uh, the way this works, this too though, unlike Tiller, you can't just upload all your transactions. The same with counter, Countabout. You, 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 there you can just upload all of them. Here you've gotta do it account by account. So I went in and I created uh, a new account called Venture as a credit card. It's got no data. And um, I'm at that account page, and I'm gonna use this, if you can see it there, a little cloud with a up arrow, and the import shows up, and you get this. And they've even got one for import mint. Now, I have not actually tried this. I thought I would do this as I'm recording this video. It's only 23 transactions, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Let's see if Simplify is a winner. Yep. Seems to have worked. Here's 2015. They're all in there. Hulu was only $7.99. Hmm. Anyway, and here's 2016. Yeah, so uh, Simplify, another great option. Again, you've got to do it account by account, but 
you know, as I showed you, you can download your Mint uh, Transactions account by account. So, you know, you've got five, I don't know, 10 accounts. How many credit cards do you guys have? Whatever. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of work if you want to do it that way. I would say, as I said, Empower is the closest to Mint because it's free. Its budgeting tools are good. Not Probably not quite as good as Mint because they don't have goals that may or may not be important to you. The investing side, much, much better. If you want to keep your Mint data and not only keep it, that's easy to do, just export it, but you want to use it in your new budgeting app, you've got Tiller. I think it's a great app, but it's very, very different than Mint.com. Uh, you have Countabout, another option, as I showed you, and then you have Simplify. If I, if I were going to pick those three and I wanted something, I'll say, as close to Mint.com as I could get, for me, it'd probably be Simplify. A great smartphone app. I will tell you, though, it doesn't really work on an iPad. You're basically looking at a smartphone app on your iPad. That ain't a lot of fun, but that may not be important to you. All of these tools cost money, but they're relatively inexpensive. Tiller is, I think, $79 a year. You can get Simplify for a couple of bucks a month. So we're not talking about a lot of money, but unlike Mint.com, they are not free. For that, you've got to stick with Empower. So there you go. Uh, I'll leave links to all of these budgeting apps below uh, the video. Hopefully this has helped you. Again, at a minimum, export that data from Mint.com and save it. You've got it in a spreadsheet and it's yours. If you want to try to use it in a, few, in, a in another app, there, there are three options for you. Tiller, Countabout, and Simplify. Couldn't get Monarch Money to work. If you know of other apps that you've used to import your Mint data, let us know. Leave, them in the, leave a, a note in the comments below. Share the app that you have used. That would be great. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out any way I can. And until next time, remember, the best thing money can buy is financial freedom.